Hi, and welcome to the setup tutorial for Pilot to ATC. We've just brought up uh, Pilot to ATC, and we can come down here and click on the wrench button, which brings up the maintenance and configuration window. And we've got several areas here that we'll want to deal with. First, we want to make sure that our call sign is going to have the proper aircraft manufacturer. So if the call sign is Beach 1 Victor Bravo, then we just need to check this list, make sure that Beach is included, which it is. If it weren't, then we could click the Add button. Uh, add, let's just add one uh, called Cub. And then you would make sure to hit the Save. Uh, here we can set up our uh, map sources for the street map. We can choose from Bing, Google, or OpenStreetMap. The default is OpenStreetMap. For satellite maps, again, the same choices. The default here is uh, Bing Street Map. For the ATC controller voices, uh, you can set up any voice that's installed on your Windows system. Uh, you'll have, should have these three, uh, David, Hazel, and Zero, the three Microsoft voices already installed, or you can go out online and purchase uh, other voices and include them in the mix as well. Here I've got uh, the Ivona, Russell, and Nicole. Uh, notice that there are there's one voice for each controller. Uh, you've also got uh, voices for four different ATC centers because we pass you from one to the other. So set these up in an order where uh, it's an obvious change and that'll make your experience a little better. Uh, you want to set the path where you install the uh, sectional maps. And we don't have the low and high in route charts yet, but when we do, you would set those up here. And then the background noise that you're going to hear when your voices are speaking, you can put uh, a file in here. You can leave it blank if you like, but this will add a little bit more realism by adding a loop static wave file. And then finally, you need to set up your uh, ATC background chatter. Uh, one for clearance, delivery, ground, tower, etc. And a good place to find those recordings is a site called ATC Live, or excuse me, liveatc.net. Looks something like this. And since we're flying out of Hawaii, we can start our search with uh, PHOG, which is our departure airport. Looks like they've got a um, ground and tower audio archive. Let's click on that come over here and we've got a uh, calendar so we can pick the date. Let's go back a day so that we make sure and have an archive available. And then we see that we've got PHOG ground and this is uh, midnight Zulu time so that's sometime in the afternoon in Hawaii. Uh, click on submit and we get a recorder. We can sample it or if we prefer just go ahead and download it right click, save target as, and then put it into a place that we can find later. Okay, I've already downloaded uh, a bunch of these, but you'll notice that these are all uh, airport and approach and departure control, so you can uh, do a search down here for ARTCC and it'll come up with some results and in my case uh, or this case we're looking for US Hawaii so we can click on that and we get taken to uh, an index and we can do a paid search for Hawaii and we see that it at least has one down here at the bottom uh, one tape that or archive, uh, the ZHN archive. So we go there and we can then uh, again choose the date and go ahead and download that archive. So we'll have one for our center. Okay, once you've uh, completed that, got them all downloaded, you go here, uh, select them. In this case, we're going to uh, have ground and clearance delivery on PHOG, which is where we are. So we've actually got uh, two of the controllers with the same background chatter. 
which is uh, very realistic in small airports. A lot of times the same frequency will uh, serve more than one purpose. And then we're done. So close this and you're ready to fly. Thanks for watching.